Hello and welcome and in this video I am going to show you how to uh, set up the Canon PIXMA TS207 uh, single function inkjet printer. So as you can see right in front of you is everything that you get in the box when you buy this printer. You have the printer itself right here, you have a power cable, you have a USB uh, connector, this is to connect to your PC or your laptop. Uh, you get two cartridges, there's a black cartridge, there's a color cartridge, these are Canon small size cartridges. Uh, you get a setup CD-ROM and you get some documents. Now the most important document is right on top actually when you open it up and it's this uh, sort of pictorial guide where they actually show you how to set this up. So I'm just going to follow this basically and I'm going to do exactly the steps that are shown here and I'm going to set this up for you. Okay, so obviously the first step is to take everything out of the box which you've already done. Uh, the next thing that you need to do is uh, you need to go ahead and put the printer like that and remove this little piece of orange tape that's at the bottom. So remove the orange tape at the bottom. Okay, put that down. And that's the orange tape which has been removed. So after you do that, turn it back around. Okay, and then it's saying to remove, obviously remove this, this piece. So now I'm, I'm going to hold it up to actually show you guys, but actually you need to do this when it's flat. So remove this tape over here. If I put this flat, then obviously you won't be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to hold the printer up for you like that. But do this when with the printer obviously flat on a surface. Okay, uh, remove this piece of tape. Now this piece of tape, uh, you sort of pull it and when you pull it, this opens up, okay? And see, as you can see, when it opens up, it's attached to this orange tab which you need to pull on, okay? Basically, pull this tab. This tab comes out like that, okay? Uh, remove the tab and it says to go ahead and discard that so put that aside this is basically the this frees up the slot over here this is these are where both your uh, cartridges would go into okay uh, once you've done that it tells you on here to actually plug this in uh, and start it now uh, let's just I'll go ahead and do that for you although when I install the cartridges I may need to turn it off to actually show you the inside because my camera is up there and normally you would need to install the cartridge with it like this, with it flat. But anyway, let's just go ahead and let me plug this in. So the power cable, in case you get a little confused, is actually off to the side. It's on the back, but it's not immediately obvious where it is. It's off to the side right there. I can show it to you. And uh, let me go ahead and let me plug that in. So plug in your power cable right there. I have a extension cord right in front of me. I'm going to plug that in. There you go. Put the printer on. And the power button is right there. So press the power button. As you can see, the light is green and the cartridge is actually traveling inside and it's aligning itself and it's getting ready. So just wait for a minute. we can take this little piece of tape off as well okay now this is done now uh, once you're done with this you need to actually install the cartridge for that you need to open the front now automatically as you can see the cartridge holder sort of stop right over there what I will do is I will now show you guys how to actually install the cartridges so it's, this is actually convenient. I can actually show it to you like this without having to turn the power off. So the power is still on. Let me just set that flat. There you go. This might not stay open. Okay, well, I'll show it to you. So you take your cartridge. Uh, there are two cartridges. These are 
Uh, the 746S color, it says color clearly over there, and it's the 745S black, so these are small size cartridges. Apart from this, there are two other size cartridges. There's a standard size cartridge, Canon, uh, black and color, they both come, and there's an extra large. So this is compatible with all three types of cartridges, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna install the color one first. So it, you just, oh sorry, open it at the, actually at the bottom it says open upwards. So I'm gonna open it like that. So just follow the instructions. It's again, don't go down from the bottom, peel up to open the cartridge. It comes out like that very easily. Now there's this little piece of tape over here which you can see, it says pull. Okay, I'll show that to you. Uh, right there, there you go. It says pull, so you need to pull this and that actually frees up the connector. Don't ever touch that. That's the little connector part. Then what you need to do is you need to obviously open that. Now the color cartridge goes on the left and the black and white cartridge goes on the right. This is pretty standard with all of these printers. Uh, to actually install this, you need to sort of have this color end facing upwards and just put it in. Now there's, it goes in, there's a little bit of an angle as you can see. Don't ever force this and it just connects in. So just gently you have to put it in and click it into place. Okay, so now the color, the color cartridge is installed. I'm gonna quickly install the black and white one. Again, on the cartridge you have to pull up from the bottom. So pull up from the bottom, it frees the cartridge, the cartridge comes right out. Over here it says pull, so this little tab, pull up, that frees up that end, never touch that. And take it with this end facing upwards and just on the right side slot, just put it in. Again, the first time you put it in, it comes up, there's a little inclination, but then you just need to press it up gently. Okay, now that's installed, go ahead, close that. And once you've done that, it automatically aligns itself out and it makes a little noise. This tab you need to actually put all the way to the left. As you can see, there's a there's a little A4. I don't know if you guys can see this. There's an A4 mark, there's a letter mark right there. So this is for, uh, sort of aligns your paper. You can align your paper accordingly. And um, that's pretty much it, you're all good to go. Obviously now after you've done this step, you need to take the USB cord, connect it to your laptop, uh, to your uh, or to your PC, and if you still have a CD drive, you run the CD drive, you run the software, it installs uh, whatever is necessary for your printer to now connect to your computer. If you don't have a CD drive, you don't have, uh, say, uh, and you're wondering how to install the drivers, uh, you can find what you need on Canon's website, Canon Pixma, just search Canon Pixma TS200 series drivers, you should be able to uh, find what you need online to actually download all the drivers and stuff that you would need to set this up. Uh, obviously you would need to go into your printer settings on your laptop or your computer and uh, you know, search for the for this printer. So this, this is the Canon Pixma TS207 and once you've done that, you would be good to go. So uh, there you are folks, that was pretty much how you set up uh, the Canon Pixma TS207 uh, single function inkjet printer. Uh, we hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching, goodbye.